Hello, welcome to the show. Thank you for viewing. Today we are being asked to pluck two sandhill crane and skin two muskrats. So I'm going to show you four sandhill crane locations and two muskrat locations. One of the sandhill crane locations is actually a double spawn. So it's technically five sandhill crane locations. I just showed you the first one. Now I'm going to show you the second one is right here at... 345 in the video time I start with the overlay map so if you're here for just the maps jump ahead to three minutes 45 seconds also like 10 seconds after that I zoom in on the map so make sure you you know don't just pause the map get to the spot where it's zoomed in real close for you now over here is where you're gonna find your muskrat and your sandhill crane now there are other muskrat spawns by the other sandhill crane I showed you at first but uh, you know, I wasn't really looking for those first. I wanted to focus on the crane first because they'll fly away. The muskrats will just run. It's kind of hard to get something that's flown away. You can track something that's ran. So I would definitely go for the crane before the muskrat. And as you can see, I've been targeted for assassination while making this video. Which is just, you know, do I stop making the video... Do I switch servers? Do I just deal with it? Well, I'm just going to deal with it. So, I do have a couple kills here in this video for you. It's nothing special. The guy just is low level. He's gets sniped. But he never really even gets a shot off at me. I don't know. I think he might get one shot at me, but it, it's from long range. He doesn't get a chance to use auto aim. Here he is coming up on me. See, I just... Drop him long range. Like, what the heck's going on? He might never have even been hit by explosive round. He's only level 24, I think, is what I looked at. I'm not really in the mood for PvP right now. I'm trying to make a video for you guys, so excuse me for just sniping him with explosives and not really caring. That ends that. Paid a couple dollars. How much did I get? $9.43. 250 XP. It's not bad for making a video. I should really be thanking this guy. Oh well. So, on to the Sandhill Crane. This is the spot that's actually the double spawn. There can be like six of them out here on this point. At the moment, there's only three. But as you can see, it's not a problem to take them down. Sometimes it can be a little difficult with the gators there to auto-aim on them. So generally you need to let them fly up a little bit so that you can lock onto them without the gator being in your field of view. But as you can see, I skinned them up, got my award done. Now, I already skinned one muskrat. I guess I, uh, I missed pointing that out in the video. You can see the corpse there on the radar just west of me. And I'm going to find two more muskrat right out here. So that's actually going to be three muskrat now that I've killed just in this one session. I didn't have to free roam or anything. I killed a total of four sandhill crane. The first one I killed was way out on the east side on the very northeast spawn there. And it despawned on me. And uh, that's when I turned and pointed my gun at the other spawn to kind of show you guys where it was. And then, you know, corpses vanish in this game. It's a mystery. You think Rockstar could figure that out before they go nerfing plume drop rates and cutting corpse costs in half? Because, honestly, if they're going to take the time to put in a bug fix, why aren't they fixing things that are negative to players instead of stuff that's positive to players first, you know? It's a quality of life issue. Get the priority straight. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate your view. Sorry about the rant. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.